What is up you guys, it's Bobby, and we're coming at you from Whole Foods for the next haul video. Listen, we've done Costco, we've done Aldi, we've done Trader Joe's, it's time to hit Whole Foods because we live in Lakeview in Chicago by this huge one. And a lot of people think that Whole Foods is also called Whole Paycheck. And that is true for a lot of really cool stuff up there. But there's a lot of awesome stuff here under the Whole Foods 365 brand that is not only a great price, but it's amazing quality. So let's get in there and show you about 10 items that are really healthy and great buys here at Whole Foods and about five items you might want to stay away from because we are going to nail this Whole Foods haul. Let's do it. All right, one thing I always get here at Whole Foods is the frozen items like corn and spinach because you don't have to buy organic to get non-GMO. The 365 brand is the only grocery store brand I know where if you buy conventional, it's non-GMO certified. Otherwise, it's almost unheard of. And the same is true with edamame. Almost all edamame is influenced by our buddies over at Monsanto and it's GMO. The 365 anywhere in the store is always going to be non-GMO, which is really cool if you don't want to splurge and pay the extra price for organic. Now, with this frozen spinach, I've got two really cool recipes for you. Uh, we got Desi's Keto Fat Bread Muffins with frozen spinach and feta. They're absolutely delicious. Or I make my dairy-free cream spinach served with butter-basted chicken breast. It is fantastic. I will hook you guys up in the description box down below, but stock up on these items here for sure. Sticking in the freezer aisle, this is kind of a splurge item, but if you want a dairy-free ice cream, this brand right here is so delicious, makes the best tasting cashew milk ice cream ever. They also have, looks like uh, coconut and almond milk, but I would always go for the cashew one because the flavor is delicious, the texture is like gelato. The only thing I don't like art is, look, it's $5.99 for a pint. Uh, last year, actually, uh, I'm gonna put this back because I'm not feeling splurgy today. Last year at Walmart, they had the same exact product, uh, and it was like $2 cheaper per, but over at Walmart, they do have these so delicious almond milk bars. These are fantastic, and they're about a buck and a half cheaper at Walmart, but if you want something dairy-free and you want good ice cream with great texture, go for the so delicious one. The only thing that's gonna happen, it's gonna hurt the wallet just a little bit. All right, Whole Foods is the place I buy my chicken for a couple of reasons. Number one, the price for boneless, skinless, organic chicken thighs is $4.99 a pound, which is fantastic. And I don't know, I always tell people life is too short to eat conventional chicken because they're bred to be very big chickens and the breast meat and thigh meat is huge. And it's very mealy and the flavor to me isn't as good as organic. This brand right here, Pine Manors, has pasture raised chickens too. So those are chickens that go outside and you can actually taste the difference. When it, something is cage free, that means it has a little extra room to run around. We'll talk about that with the eggs, but they never really go outside. And the meat of those big chickens is mealy and mushy. A lot of times when I cook boneless, skinless chicken thighs, people leave comments, hey Bobby, why are they so small? The reason they're small is because they're organic. They're not the ones that are bred to be huge. Now for the chicken wing video, the baked chicken wing video we did the other week, I bought these, organic Pine Manor wings. The flavor and texture of this was fantastic. And if you guys are not sure how to cook chicken thighs or chicken breast, uh, I have a video for three ways to cook the perfect chicken thigh and three ways to cook the perfect chicken breast. I'll put those links down below in the pan, in the oven, poached in water, we got you covered. All right, let's hit the oils and the vinegars aisle here. I actually don't buy that many oils here because even though they're very high quality, they're too expensive. But I wanted to touch on the apple cider vinegar. Uh, we were talking about this at Trader Joe's. You always want to buy the organic apple cider vinegar with mother, which is the probiotic bacteria in the bottom because it's very good for your gut. But look at this. It's $5.39 for a 16 ounce jar. Everyone knows the brand Bragg's, but it's too expensive. If you go to Trader Joe's, it's half the price, or no, more than half the price. It's $2.49 for the same bottle. But going back to the theme about $3.65, Whole Foods being a good deal, same thing. Mother's present. It's 32 ounces, look, right, for $4.99. So it's exactly the same price as Trader Joe's. You're just getting a 32 ounce bottle instead of 16. So you can buy it here and you can pay the same amount as Trader Joe's. Now, going back here, Art, um, 
let's follow up on the Costco oils video we did two weeks ago. We just had a lot of questions because we didn't talk about peanut oil and Art and I didn't talk about sunflower and safflower oil here. Everyone's saying, hey, Bobby, I deep fry in these oils. So can I do that? The answer is, written very small here, only if it's expeller pressed oil. Okay, expeller pressed meaning it's one step past extra virgin or cold pressed. There's a little bit of pressure to extract the oil from the nut or the veggie and it's totally fine. If it doesn't say expeller pressed, that means it's just as toxic as canola oil and veggie oil, are very highly refined and they use a chemical solvent to extract the oil. The thing is, Art, would you ever pay $4.29 for 8.4 ounces of peanut oil? No, the answer is no, I would use that in like in two days, okay? But just to answer the question, only by expeller pressed peanut oil, sunflower and safflower, not the regular one, otherwise it's bad news. All right, let's go over here, Art. Okay, we touched upon this, Art and I did, back on the Aldi Hall video. Tell me, riddle me this, my friends. What's the only difference between this organic tomato ketchup and this organic tomato ketchup? The only difference is this small bottle doesn't have sugar. So they can put the label Whole30, Keto, Paleo. The thing is, this one is $2.19. This one is $6. They're exactly the same thing. This one just has sugar, this one doesn't. Why do these brands think it's okay to charge us two, three, sometimes four X price just because we have to cater toward our paleo, gluten-free, keto, or Whole30 lifestyle? That's not cool. I should do a video how to make homemade keto ketchup. And the same thing is true with avocado oil mayonnaise. $9.99, Art, look, for 16 ounces. You guys, do you wanna see me make a video at home how to make avocado oil mayonnaise? Because it's only, you believe people pay $9.99 for this? That's crazy, right? You can make this at home for like $3. It's crazy, man. It's, someone just ordered it on someone, Okay, here you go, someone just ordered it on Instacart. <laughs> there you go, don't tell them that. It's literally, one egg yolk, about a cup of oil, and that's it, okay? So we're gonna do a video on that. Let the Instacart people who have all the money order their own. Oh, Amazon, okay. Prime members. All right, this is literally my favorite aisle here at Whole Foods, the bulk section. You get serious savings on seriously good stuff here because you're not paying for the packaging. It's also a place where they don't encourage it, but I can't help it. I love the free samples because how could I not try something when it's right in front of me before I get it? Now, one of my favorite things to get here, Art, check it out. This is nutritional yeast, AKA vegan Parmesan. If you ever want that salty, nutty, umami flavor, buy this in bulk section. You don't have to buy a big bag. You can get two ounces. Uh, you can use that as a cheese replacement for my keto cauliflower mash. I normally grate some Pecorino Romano or some Parmesan cheese in there. Instead, use that or just dust that over pasta. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Now, but my favorite part of this section, Art, is right down here the spices. Then we've talked about spices in every single haul video we've done, but this one is fantastic because they have organic, very high quality spices that you can buy by the ounce. You know they're fresh and the flavor is fantastic. You wanna buy really fresh, high quality spices because when you're adding them to dishes, they have no fat, they have no calories. It's just pure flavor. And when you buy the spices on the aisle that are sitting in the glass jars, you're paying for the glass jar, number one, and you don't know how long those have been sitting there. Ground spices have volatile chemicals or essential oils inside that start to lose their flavor after six months when they've been ground. These spices go through very quickly. They turn over the inventory so you know you're buying fresh spices like cumin, paprika, ancho chili powder, mustard seeds. So I scoop these all the time. Probably my favorite spice rub ever using a lot of these spices, including cinnamon, is for my Moroccan chicken stew with my golden keto cauliflower rice. That is my favorite keto recipe ever. I'll put that link down below. But scoop the spices here because they are awesome. All right, I wanna share this with you guys. This is Desi and my all-time favorite dairy-free yogurt. It's actually made of cashews but the flavor and texture is almost spot on. It's much better in my opinion than the almond milk yogurt, which has kind of a weird flavor and texture. Uh, six bucks is a little pricey, I know, but if you wanna avoid dairy, that's the best thing you can do. And then probably the most important thing in this video is right here. Let's do it quick because I think they're starting to eye art and I, <laughs> right here. I wish this video came out now because by the time this Saturday rolls around, 
this sale is going to be over. But we've talked about this in every haul video. Pasture raised eggs are the only kind of eggs you want to buy. These are chickens that actually go outside. They eat bugs and worms and once in a while they get a supplemental diet of corn and soy. The flavor of these eggs is far better than cage free or pasture or a free range. The color is vibrant and orange, it's not pale and yellow. They are $6 a dozen, all right, check it out, which is a little pricey, but I wish, like I said, this video came out now because they're on sale for the lowest price I've ever seen. If you're an Amazon Prime member, you get 10% additional off of that. Whereas I see a lot of people <clears throat> buying these 365 brand eggs. If you go to something called the cornucopiainstitute.com, which I'll leave a link down below, 365 eggs are rated very low because they're confined. Even though it says cage-free plus, that means they barely have an extra five feet to go around and they never go outside. So you always wanna buy pasture raised. If you can find them around you, you don't have to buy this brand. If you get them from a farmer's market, that's even better. But these are by far my favorite eggs ever. And I swear by them. All right here, Art. Also, I buy now organic almond milk at Whole Foods because the price is unbelievable. Another 365 miracle. <laughs> um, organic almond milk for half a gallon. Look, Art, it's $2.99. The same amount at Trader Joe's would be $3.58, but it's not even organic. So once again, this is the best price ever. Um, at Aldi, it's $2.39 for the same size, but it's not organic. And this is organic, unsweetened. I use it all the time for chia seed pudding, for my dairy-free cornbread. This is the place to get it. All right, one thing I cannot get behind is buying bone broth pre-made at the store. First of all, the homemade one is so easy to make and has superior texture and superior flavor to anyone I've tried. But more importantly, look at this price. It's seven dollars. Okay, it's on sale right now. But seven dollars for sixteen ounces for a gallon of this, it'd be twenty-eight dollars. You can make two gallons at home for like roughly eight dollars, and it's so much better. I know bone broth is really popular right now. I would never buy it, but I would buy the powdered forms of bone broth powder or uh, keto collagen peptides. Those are really good. But in terms of the liquid, stay away from that and just make it yourself. All right, another one of my top, top favorites here at Whole Foods is shirataki noodles, also known as miracle noodles. Um, if you're on the low carb diet or keto, this is your best friend if you need your noodle fix. I talk about this stuff all the time on Instagram stories and YouTube. The price is right. Look, Art, for an eight ounce pack, it's on sale right now, which is amazing, but $2.99 is the normal price. It only has for the whole pack 30 calories and eight total net carbs and two total net carbs. I use this stuff all the time. Um, I have a recipe coming up pretty soon for uh, my beefy ragu tossed in fettuccine shirataki's. I have ramen soup already out with beef lettuce wraps. I have pesto pasta with grilled chicken thighs. I'll put those links down below. If you need your noodles and you can't afford the carbs, this is the best. Pasta Zero by Ne Soya. It doesn't smell funky. Um, it doesn't have a weird squishy texture. It's my favorite, favorite noodle. They also have it at Walmart, but not all Walmarts have it. They always have it at Whole Foods and I get it on a regular basis. All right, behind me is one of my favorite things also here at Whole Foods. It's the farm-raised Atlantic salmon. And you might be like, yo, Bobby, farm-raised, isn't that bad for you? Well, yeah, if you don't do your homework and you buy bad farm-raised salmon, it is. But the one here, is not only from Norway, but it's also sustainably farmed and very high quality. It's also $9.99 a pound, which is a great deal. And because it's farm raised, it's really, really fatty and it has this amazing juicy quality to it. Now, bad farm raised salmon is bad. Okay, they cramp them in pools, they're swimming in poop, they get really, really bad feed. It's just bad news. But they really care about their farming here at Whole Foods. And with this salmon, because it's so fatty, I make these Asian uh, fish cakes that have uh, sesame seeds, green onions, and because there's so much fat, they bind together. I also make crispy skin salmon and brown sugar glazed salmon with this stuff. All three of those recipes are in one blog post. I'll put that link down below, but I highly suggest this farm-raised salmon here. Hey, sometimes the wild salmon's on sale too and I buy it, but I love the juiciness of this guy. All right, one thing I love buying here because you can't find it everywhere is, check it out, fresh turmeric root. Art just said, let me see, I've never seen it before. The reason why I love this is I combine it with fresh ginger root 
and make my immune system boosting tea, which is guaranteed to keep you healthy in the winter. If you have a cold, it will beat that cold out of your body like Rocky Balboa. You boil turmeric or simmer turmeric with ginger, lemon peel, black pepper, cayenne pepper, then you add coconut oil, lemon juice. It's the best drink ever. I have it twice a day and you need fresh turmeric because people on Flav City Instagram always ask me, can they use turmeric powder? Yes, you can, but the fresh is best and they always have it here at Whole Foods, so scoop that. You guys often see me cooking with these red hot chili peppers. They're called finger peppers and I love them because they're not too spicy and they're really good for cooking with or garnishing dishes with and they always have them here at Whole Foods. Every week I get questions, where do you get them from? I always get them here. So if you look at like my uh, keto almond crusted tilapia recipe from last week, cooked with it, garnished with it. My low carb shirataki noodle ramen soup with beef lettuce wraps, cook with it, garnish with it. I just love the color, I love the heat. Pick them up for sure. All right guys, that's it. We just crushed this Whole Foods healthy haul and we didn't get kicked out. Art and I are surprised because there are so many people giving us the stink eye. It's unbelievable. Um, where to next? Okay, you guys have had awesome recommendations lately. You want us to go to um, Sprouts Market. We don't have it in Chicago. Uh, you want us to go to Sam's Club. We're gonna do it. Walmart Super Center's coming up pretty soon. Fresh Time Market, I think. Um, Lidl, have you heard of Lidl, Art? Little? Little. 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 Yeah, we don't have that here in Chicago, but I hear it's unbelievable, kind of like an Aldi competitor. Um, so let us know, share this video, subscribe to our channel, but we'll see you very soon. Until then, keep on cooking. Now let's get the heck out of here.